Let's have some fun. This is gonna be around for guild. I, I don't think there's time to go back into this unless time does something dirty. No, uh, no way. No time. Way. The player of grass should hear you it. You say but... this. Wait, wait. No way. Ooh. No way. Oh. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Delete the vote. Race is available. They have to go tag them. Right now, they're pretty hard to meta. Soon on the beat, but get it. 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 Soon the show where we get you caught up on all the latest news from the Valorant Champions Tour. Let's get started with a look at some of the best plays from this week's Challengers event. Eagles, are you kidding me? Energy looking primed for 12, unless someone can absolutely pop off. Is it time for Asuna? Has to clear out showers. Wants to try to push. Sees the weapon. Asuna for three. Would have to be an ace. It's information. Finds the fourth. Knows where the last player is. Asuna will get at least a halfway in the defusal. Shanks on the opposite picture in picture. Oh my God! Now let's head over to Latin America to check in with Nags from Crew Esports to see how they've been preparing for Masters. Hola, hola. Mi camino a través de la Champions Tour ha sido de momentos de alegría y de muchos momentos de frustración también. El torneo está bastante bueno. Hay equipos muy buenos en, en la región. Sí, a mí siempre, desde que jugaba Counter, me gustó jugar de Sniper en el Counter de AWP y ahora de Operator. Y encuentro que Jet es el personaje que más se acomoda con este rol, ya que tiene mucha movilidad. El dash le da el escape para poder hacer pick agresivos y dejar la ronda en ventaja y todo eso. Y a mí siempre me ha gustado como eso, como jugar un poco agresivo, tratar de dejar a mi equipo en ventaja y encuentro que la Jet es el personaje como ideal para eso. Yo comencé como jugando al principio el Valorant, comencé jugando otros personajes como Cypher, hasta Soba intenté y sentía que como a mi equipo le faltaba como esa agresividad al momento de entrar a los sites como que se generaba como un cuello de botella y sentía que con Jet podía como solucionar ese problema donde el, el ingreso a Cruz fue estaba muy emocionado ya que la organización del Sergio Agüero y está hasta mi familia está emocionada Cruz siento que tienen un profesionalismo que debe venir como eh, del Kun que le debe exigir que sea así de profesional siento como que él, él ha estado en muchos equipos y sabe como lo que necesitan los jugadores el apoyo que es súper importante de cara a la Masters hemos estado entrenando mucho mucho hemos hecho varios cambios en el equipo de de composición que siento que están dando sus frutos cada día se nos sentimos más confiados cada día notamos el crecimiento del equipo vamos a poder dar un mejor espectáculo de, de cómo comenzó el año time to check in on the results from last weekend's tournament phase clan took the win this past weekend at challengers na week 3 main event this is the first major victory for FaZe in quite a while, thanks in part to Baby Bay who had an outstanding weekend, achieving a peak average combat score of 405 on Icebox against 100 Thieves in the Grand Finals. With this win, FaZe Clan qualified into the first Masters event alongside 100 Thieves, Luminosity, and Gen G. Goes for the swing! Over in Europe, the following teams came out on top in the Challengers Week 3 main event. Guild Esports, Defuse Team, Ballista Esports, and Raise Your Edge Gaming. All four of these teams have secured their spot at Masters, defeating teams like G2, Fnatic, OG, and Wave Esports along the way. CNET takes a 4K. On the other side of the continent, CIS also completed their Challengers Week 3 main event. Tweezy, GMT Esports, Forza, and Team Singularity made it out of the bracket to claim the last four master slots in the region. <laughs> in Turkey's Challengers Week 3 main event, these four teams took the win. Cyberskull Esports, Rare Esports, Footballist, and Zero Zone. They advanced from here into the first Masters event. In Challengers Korea Week 3 main event, Dom Kia and Apex People took the win. 
qualifying into Masters along with runners-up TNL Esports and F4Q. Dom Kia came back in full force after their shaky performance in Week 2, ending the weekend with a perfect record in their bracket. Whoa, Whoa, my my key. Key. Nearby in Japan, Reject and Fennel came out on top in Challengers Week 3. They advance into Masters with Lag Gaming and Bluebees who tied for third. This is the first major placement for Fennel, who are a new squad that have been on the rise since the beginning of Challengers Japan. Brazil played the second half of their Week 3 main event, where Imperial Esports and Shark Esports took the win for their groups, with Pain Gaming and Slick following behind them. All four teams have secured their tickets to Masters. This is a notable win for Sharks, who were formerly known as Squad 5, putting themselves on the map in Brazil for the first time. The final Week 3 main event was held in the Philippines. Archangel came out on top, securing their spot in Southeast Asia Masters. The rest of the region will play their Week 3 main events this coming weekend to determine who else will qualify. Although it's huge! With the final week of Challengers Stage 1 in the books, let's see how each region is stacking up for Masters. Here are the teams that will be playing in NA's first Masters event. If you haven't been following Challengers closely, you may be surprised to see TSM missing from this list. After a dominant year in 2020, they've struggled to find their footing since the start of the VCT. They nearly qualified several times but ultimately fell short to other teams. This event will feature a variety of talent, from longtime Valorant powerhouses like Sentinels and Gen G to up and coming rosters like Xset and Luminosity. Photo by himself. Does he have enough time to plan? He sure will not anymore. It's just down to the kills! It's Proto! How has he managed to do that? Europe's Regional Masters event will feature these eight teams. Many of EU's notable teams have failed to make the list, including G2, OG, Fnatic, and Team Liquid. The drastic shift in Europe's balance of power shows just how quickly the scene has grown. To this has found another. Oh, that's a third. Teams that were dominating the region last year have begun to fall to the new generation. He's doing the dance, he's buying them time, and patience is going to be everything. No Isolates way. one, he knows the second, no and of course he does it. Will longtime EU stars like FPX and Ninjas in Pajamas be able to keep up? Tune in to find out. These guys are playing all full torps. Well, that's just pre at you. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Masters in CIS features some very familiar faces for the region, like Forza and Team Singularity, the first and second place teams from First Strike. There's also some exciting new amateur squads in the bracket, like Divinity and Tweezy, who have been making waves in Challengers. The new and old talent of CIS will clash when Regional Masters kicks off this weekend. In Turkey, after just barely falling short in Week 2, Footballist has finally made it into Masters. They qualified in through Challengers Week 3 main event. Footballist has been a consistent top team in the region, but they've placed into the same group as BBL Esports, the undeniable kings of Turkey, who beat Footballist in the first strike grand finals and have since been undefeated in the VCT. Can Footballist get their revenge, or will they fall to BBL once again? Tune in to find out. All eyes will be on Vision Strikers at Regional Masters 1 Korea. The team still has yet to lose a match since the launch of Valorant, but with the rest of the region slowly improving around them, they may finally face their match. They're in the same group as New Turn Gaming, who gave them some trouble in Challengers Week 2, and Apex People, who have been on the rise since the start of Challengers. Will Vision Strikers be able to keep the streak alive, or will they finally take their first loss? Absolute Jupiter has continued to dominate in Japan and will likely do so at Regional Masters. But there's a number of rising stars in the event that have put the region on notice, including Reject, Lag Gaming, and FAV Gaming. Will any of these squads be able to keep up with the aggression of Laz and Rada? Tune in this weekend to find out. Brazil's Regional Masters is set to be a banger, with an all-star cast of teams. Longtime icons of the region like Gamelanders and Vorax will face off against the new stars of Challengers, Team Vikings, and Furia. So far this year, competition in Brazil has been explosive and it's sure to come to a head with so many talented teams meeting in one single elimination bracket. LADAM North and LADAM South will be competing in two separate Regional Masters events. The north side of the region's event is already underway, with stars like Laser Clan facing off against their new rivals LDM Esports. Check out ValorantEsports.com for the results. Over in the south side of LADAM, upcoming teams like Stampede Gaming and Crew Esports will face off against top squads like Weigers Argentina and Austral. <laughs>
Challenger's events are still ongoing in Southeast Asia, but here's who made it into Masters so far. Regional 1 Masters SEA will combine all of the sub-regions into one tournament, which is set to begin later next week. The Sheriff and Hat Dubsta will do it again and again and again! Who do you think will take the win at Masters in your region? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. Thanks for watching The Headshot. For upcoming matches and schedules, check out ValorantEsports.com. We'll see you next week for more updates on all things Valorant Champions Tour.